Going off the ship today for some delicious Thai food here in Galveston. Let's see how long it takes me to get to the restaurant. Hopefully the Mardi Gras festival is gone so I can actually get to the Thai restaurant. Beautiful weather today here in Galveston. It is very nice. Just to show you how far I'm gonna to walk today to go to the Thai restaurant. This giant white building is about four blocks away from where I'm going, a little bit further from the white building. And we'll see how long it takes. Almost there. Good news, the Mardi Gras barricade is gone. So now I can go to my Thai restaurant. Last time they were gonna charge me $19 or whatever, it was like $24 or something. And I was like, uh, uh I'm not paying that because I'm not going to Mardi Gras. I'm just trying to get some Thai food. I'm sure everyone had fun, but it's nice to be back to normal where you can go downtown without having to pay 24 bucks to walk around. This is definitely true. And also with a cat. There's one of the Galveston turtles. All right, getting closer. I'm looking for Tremont. It's one more block after this clock. Here's the clock in town that's right two times a day. Cause it's broken and it has been broken ever since I've been coming here. <laughs> Almost there, how are we doing on time? I'm too early ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't open until 11. Oh. Oops, time to exercise a little bit more. So you make a left on Tremont. And then over here you have the giant cornet. And then you know you have Delicious Thai food coming up. The one good thing about the Mardi Gras festival for me was I couldn't go to the Thai restaurant so I had to find another restaurant and I found a really good Mexican restaurant that had a delicious like onion, spinach and mushroom uh, tacos or something like that. It was really, really good. So if you're ever closed and I can't go to you, I always have a backup plan. It's right down there. Okay, that's how long it took to get to the Thai restaurants. Wow, usually it's really cold here in Galveston, but today it's my absolute favorite temperature of all time. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It really is a really nice temperature. When we, we used to go to Alaska, it was 70 frequently. And I was like, I want to live here because that's my absolute favorite temperature. Not too cold, not too hot. Mardi Gras over with. This is a place I went to last time because uh, the other area of town was blocked off due to Mardi Gras. My first experience at this place uh, a long time ago was not good. I sat outside uh, just after they opened and nobody ever came to take my order but I think they've gotten much better service now because my waitress last time was really good so good for them so I might go here again because those tacos were absolutely delicious so I'm torn between Thai food and Mexican food so around Galveston you'll see stuff like this from different storms this was the water level this was the water level at that point. This is the water level at that point. Can you imagine this little island? I'll back up so you can see where those water levels were. Can you imagine the water level was that high? It just destroys everything. And some of these storms killed a lot of people. So that's why they put these signs up because it's very historic. Both the Thai place and the Mexican place are open up at 11. So the one that'll win is where Ever, re whatever restaurant I'm closest to when I'm at 11 o'clock. Here's another Galveston turtle. Hey, buddy. People abusing cows since 1857. I'll have my milk alternatives, thanks. Caution, just in case you happen to be climbing this tree. I would feel very safe in this building 
if they had a big storm. I don't think this monstrosity is going anywhere. Still wandering around town, waiting for restaurants to open. At least I'm getting my exercise. Hey, how do you like this background blur when you focus on something close? That's pretty cool, right? That's automatic. And then it readjusts the focus when you take the forward object, the, the object closest to the camera away. Earlier I had a car honk at me and I wasn't sure uh, why, because I didn't recognize them, I didn't know them, but then I realized they were in support of Ukraine. I'm wearing my Ukraine shirt, so many times when I wouldn't worn my like Ukraine sweatshirt down here, people have, you know, said they, they, they support Ukraine, so that's nice. The world sees what's going on and they know it's not right. So I hope Ukraine wins this war soon. Okay, I'm back to the giant cornet. Let's have a closer look at that spit valve. One more time around the block and it should be 11 o'clock. Now see my friend the bear here was not here earlier. And I was wondering where the heck he was, but they, they don't bring him out until the place opens. Hello buddy, he's been here for a long time. What the hell is this? Really? Is this a joke? IV drips to get over a hangover? It's gotta be a joke. I love these old buildings, especially these really tall, thin doors. Very cool. So many cool buildings in Galveston. Looks like I'm not the first customer today. These guys are taking pictures of this artwork, but I'm guessing they came here to eat at the restaurant. Usually I'm the first one. They must think I'm pathetic. I'm just always waiting when they open. Thailand wins over Mexico today. Sorry, I was closest to the Thai restaurant at 11 o'clock. Yum. Either way, you win. Okay, I just had my Thai food. Now I gotta go down the block get my smoothie for my walk back to the ship. All aboard for crew is one o'clock, so I have plenty of time. Here's my smoothie place. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I always get the G-Town Brown. Of course, with a substitute for actual milk, use the almond milk. And there it is. Today I was going to tell them, please don't put any sweetener in it because I wasn't sure if they added more sugar, but they said it's all natural. So it's only going to be the sugar from the banana. And the peanut butter is going to have a little sugar in it too, but no added sugar. All right, now I got to start walking back to the ship. Galveston's a good day because I get the exercise going into town and back to the ship. Unfortunately, if I could just cut out some of the consumption of food, I would actually lose more weight, but I love my Thai food, and I love my peanut butter banana smoothie with a little chocolate. So, I'll just walk more so I can make up for it. Here's one of the more colorful turtles downtown. It's kind of cool. Here's the Opera House from 1894. Let's get a closer look at this artwork down here. Very cool. You can see it's not very windy outside today. Just want to see what they sound like. That's 12 o'clock chimes. One hour to get back to the ship. Here's the 
tracks for the trolley that goes around town. It's one dollar and it takes you all around Galveston. So that's a good deal. Remember that white building I showed you earlier that I said was close to the Thai restaurant? But it was far away in the video? Here's your close up. Getting closer. Just as a test, I'm seeing how the selfie lens looks. This is the one to one ratio, and this is the 16 by 19. All right, how did all that gray hair get on my head? That must mean I'm experienced. And even when I'm old and gray. Remember the house on stilts that I always showed you? Well, this is close to the finished product. They filled in half with the garage, and the other half is for the car to be away from the elements. And then they got the stairs there, so it's looking quite nice. Does someone want to explain this to me? People carrying large balls around as they're running. Uh, this guy's walking with his. This must be a new workout technique. Not sure what the point is, but you have fun with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's my sister Karen's affectionate nickname for me. Aww. She's tormented me for life. I'll never get over it. All right, the rest of the walk is kind of boring. Let's speed things up a little bit.